Hey, what's up? Uh, you know how it's uh, how it's said uh, some things are left are left on are best left unsaid, um, and you, you gotta gotta be able to, to uh, determine what those things are. And I've I've left this unsaid for a bit. Um, I'm reminded of a my favorite pastor, uh, one of my favorite pastors, um, um, Dr. Alton Tomlin, uh, Rejoice in Heaven, um, Dr. Tomlin. Uh, he said from the pulpit uh, one Sunday distinctly said, Jesus is neither Democrat nor Republican. And I was quite moved by that. Um, I'll tell you, I, 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 I'm, I'm intrigued by the, uh, the number of, uh, of us evangelicals who are more um, inclined to evangelize um, um, Donald Trump than they are uh, Jesus Christ, to evangelize the Republican Party than they are Jesus Christ, and and, and that and that is troublesome to me, um, and um, you know one might be thinking, well, you know, I, I'm, I'm assuming Christ is more Republican than he is uh, Democrat, and 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 when I do a soft research to kind of figure out why that might be, and it is primarily um, because um, there the, there is a consideration that um, uh, the Democrats are are too liberal. To be, um, to be the kind that Christ would would be, would be aligned with, and that's that's not my um, my uh, my um, my point today necessarily, except that it is um, th that one of the things that is a challenge with, um, or seem to be a challenge with the Democratic Party, it's its stance on on the um, the abortion and, and pro life versus pro choice, um, and. Take this. Um, I am as pro-life as they come, right? Uh, in in fact, I'm so pro-life that I'm I'm extreme. I'm extreme in that um, I don't, you know, while most evangelicals that I've met, uh, I've, I've conversed with, um, will say it is okay if a woman is raped for her to abort the child. I feel otherwise. No, I'm not the woman carrying the baby. I don't, it's not my body being changed, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but I feel otherwise because I do believe that a, a woman um, who is raped um, um, has a definitely has a um, a right to make a choice. What is right for her? Um, but, as, but but this point is not about her. It's about the baby. What's right for the baby? Uh, that is um, that is um, a life at conception. The individual that raped this woman, he's the one that deserves. Um, capital punishment, not the baby, right? So it is my my belief that the baby has no choice in this. So those of us who are um, on this side of birth have the right then to uh, to protect the life of that child, but not the right to make the choice for the woman. That's her choice, however, because God created us, liberated us, hence liberal, um, so that we can make choice make the right choices um and 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 so my point is is i believe the, the the baby should be brought into existence into life into the world um because the baby did not commit a crime and um the other convinced conversation is um most of the pro-lifers as we know them to be here is um if a woman if a woman's life is at risk then it's okay to uh, abort the child AKA abort the child. This again is killing the child. Um, and uh, in my mind, what this is 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 you taking um, the taking really cre um, acting as God in this case. Um, if you believe in Christ Jesus, you believe in His abilities to heal, and and therefore, whose decision is it that the child gets to die because otherwise the mom's gonna die? Is that your decision or is that God's decision? So, um, so I take, I do take um, um, offense to that, if you will. Um, I am that pro-life. Now, let's talk about, let's continue talking about pro-life. Pro-life doesn't really, uh, it's not really about um, the baby's uh, life being protected until birth, and then we walk away. Pro-life is uh, from con from conception, taking care of that uh, that that child through its life, what does that look like? 
mom is troubled. The mom is in is in pain. She finds out she's pregnant. The father is not available. The father is um, not around. The father, whatever reason, the, the, the woman is troubled. The father is around. He too is troubled. And they decide, let's abort the child. Again, their choice. Um, however, one of the reasons why they choose to do that is because they, they do not feel there is hope. They do not feel there is hope. And therefore, this is this is um, one of the challenges that I have and one of the things that I appreciate about, about um, um, uh, socialism coupled with capitalism okay um, the, the ability the, the capitalism is in that is such that you can we can um, create wealth um, um, but also important that we can share that wealth to those who are not in a place where they create they can create it so we need to be able to provide health care health care is a basic is a, is a basic human need so to be able to create and uh, provide health care to those who are not able to do that themselves, in addition, um, um, pro um, providing some prenatal care and, uh, and providing postnatal care, if you will, and then um, and, and, and throughout that person's life, allowing that person, if they, the person is not able to, um, to, to provide for himself, pro uh, provide health care, education. In my mind, another basic human need. If you provide health um, education for someone, um, ultimately that person will be able to provide for himself and be able to, to compete in this capitalist society. I am pro-capitalist. And so that is my my take on, on pro-life. It's protecting one's life, not just during pregnancy, but throughout giving hope to mom and dads who do not see hope um, uh, the point of finding out that uh, this lady is pregnant um, and uh, it's not giving up on the life once it's birth um, pro-life again is taking care of life to the extent that's what Christ is about that's who Jesus is he calls us to be pro-life um, and that's where we fail we, 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 we believe that we are pro-life because we're saying do not have abortion but yet when the, the child is born it's now you fend for yourself. It's all about you, uh, mom and dad, or um, and, and so you know it's and it, it's so important that we challenge ourselves to make sure that we are not putting God in a box, but we are we are living like Christ calls us to live, which is to be there for each other, to love, to love, to respect each other as well, uh, to challenge um, <clears throat> and and to teach. So that's. That's my um, my um, what I'm what I'm wanting to say today as I, as I think of um, that pastor that said God is neither Democrat nor Republican, so let's just live.